look at graphing a line with slope intercept form. And remember slope intercept form is the y equals mx plus b. That's the nicest form if you're going to graph because you can pick your information right off. You can pick off your slope and you can pick off your y intercept which is the point. And that's what you need to be able to draw a graph. Uh, so on our first example our m is two-thirds because y is already isolated. Our y-intercept is 1, or 0, 1 if you're writing the ordered pair. Um, it will be 1 on the y-axis. You always plot your point first, and then you count using your slope. Right? It's vertical over horizontal from your point. So we're going to go up two spaces, up because it's positive, 1, 2, and then we're going to go across. One, two, three. That's your rise over your run. And then you're going to connect the dots to make your line. So our next example, um, we are in the proper form y equals mx plus b. Our m is going to be negative one half. And we have to choose to either put the negative on the numerator or the denominator. I'm going to choose to put it on the top. It doesn't matter, but you need it on one or the other to move with it. And our y-intercept is going to be 3. 0, 3 if you needed to do the ordered pair. So that's going to be on the y-axis. We will plot that first. From there we will move with the slope. This is vertical over horizontal. So negative 1 says go down 1 from your point and over to the right 2, make a new point, and then connect the points and beyond for your line. Our next problem is also already in slope intercept form with y isolated. We can read off the slope which is 3. And our y-intercept, you're going to include that sign, so it is negative 2. Now, to graph with your slope, you need it to look like a fraction. So you can always make it into a fraction by putting it over 1. And this will be vertical over horizontal. So first, we will plot our y-intercept, which is on our y-axis, negative 2. We're going to go up 3 because it's positive from that point, 1, 2, 3 and over to the right 1. Make a point and connect. For our next one, we need to go to slope intercept form to graph with this technique. So we're going to have to do some algebra first. We need to isolate the y. So we need to go ahead and move the 6 and the 3x to the other side. Right, so I'm going to keep the 2y, right, and I only had 0 over there, so that's not going to matter. To get the 3x over, I'm going to do minus 3x. To get the 6 over, I'm going to do plus 6. And now I just need to divide by 2 all the way across. So y equals negative 3 halves x plus Three. And so we have our information that we need. Our slope will be negative 3 halves. Our y-intercept will be 3. So now we're ready to graph. We plot the y-intercept first. So we're on the y-axis. And we're going up to 3 to make our point. We're going to count from there. We had to put the negative with one place or the other, numerator or denominator. So I put it with the numerator. That says go down three spaces from that point. One, two, three, and two to the right. Then we will connect the dots to draw our line.
Next we have horizontal and vertical lines. If we have the form y equals b, this is always going to be a horizontal line. If you forget which it is, you can make a little table. They ask us to graph y equals 3. It is going to be the horizontal line through right here, 3 on the y-axis. Um, if you forget though which it is, make yourself a little table. Your y has to be 3 for all your points. You can have any x you want because there's no x in your formula. So just do 0, 1, 2. If you put your points on here, so 0, 3, and 1, 3, and 2, 3, it's going to remind you which way it goes. You'll know that it's a special line because it only has one variable. So it's just a matter of remembering whether it is horizontal or vertical. And when it's y equals something, it is horizontal. If you have x equal a constant, that is a vertical line. If you forget which it is, you know it's special because it only has one variable. Make yourself a quick table. This time your x must be negative 2 for all your points. And you can have any y you want because there is no y in your problem. So 0, 1, 2 and we'll put the points on. So if we do negative 2, 0 and negative 2, 1 and negative 2, 2, we would realize then that it is a vertical line. And you just connect the points to make your line.